All right, so there's nothing right here to show for now, but I got what I've been wanting for the longest and finally had the funds to do so. And I'll be showcasing a deck that I will be using with said opening. And I made a deck for it, but I'll be using my real decks. And if I'm just sitting there, of course, I'm just use this one and I'll do a deck profile on this, I guess. But my delivery came in. And take a second to, can you guess what it is? Something from Battle City. We have the Battle City Dual Disc. And I did order the other one, but I didn't know which one I was ordering at, when I got hyped to order it. So I ordered the one with the, the, the zones different that I didn't like that pop up. I wanted to do my Exodia update profile with this, but I left my Exodia update at my girlfriend's house and, well, wifey's house. I left it at wifey's house and I couldn't, obviously can't make a vid update of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh uh, deck profile if I don't have my deck with me. And I reminded myself to bring it and I completely forgot because of other things. And I wanted to showcase the deck profile mixed with um, the opening and it looks like this one comes with the calculator and um the cards and this is the one i want it with the proper zones i'll show you what i mean but for now i'll show you the other one while i open this and assemble it i had ordered the other one before and this one came out to be more expensive but the one i just showed you that's still um sealed what i'll be opening behind the camera is I could have sworn I ordered that one, which comes with the different zones that you put down here and the extra deck zone and re remove from play zone or whatever you want to use the two extra spots for. I could have swore it was that one, but this one came in and when I looked at the order, the picture showed this one. I'm like, this is cool to use too, but I don't like it. I prefer the other one because it has those two extra spots, like I said, for you could put your banish card there. Um, or what I will, I'll plan, I tend to use it more of is like it has the two spots here is if I have to search my deck for any card because I search out a lot, well, decent amount, I could put my hand, I could just fold my hand, put it in one of the extra spots. Then you do freeing up my hand to fully just grab the deck out, search for what I need, put it in my hand that's already placed here, shuffle it. Put it back and proceed to take my deck back out without having to say, wait, let me put my deck down, put it in my pocket or something else. So like it fits the, the place better. And this one's still good too. So what I'm planning on doing is, have, I'm keeping both of them obviously, really debating on selling this one. Um, This one was 210 with shipping and handling. The other one came out to way cheaper. It was like 170 with the deck and everything this one came with no extra none of the cards or the calculator so and then when i saw the zones the zones is pretty cool but i don't like it i personally don't like it and i really just wanted the extra two zones um places to put cards but like i said might as well just keep two so in the future what i want to do is make story scripts of making like let's play so let's say playing with my mystic mind exodia deck draw a fate but I want to do a story with it and then um, show off the duel of me using the cards and the monsters appearing behind me. Um, playing Mystic Mine and then it just like teleports us to a mine cave where it shows their monsters and they, they're they like paralyzed. They can't do nothing. You know, showcasing the deck as if it was we were in a real duel in the anime, but in real life. So obviously you need to do this. So I might just hold on to this. It'll be there to play with or play with the kids. Like if they want to play with Yu-Gi-Oh! and... They really don't take care of the decks and there's nothing expensive in their decks, really. So I could just play with them like this and they'll have a brolic arm. <laughs> oh, so while this is here, I will do a quick profile on the deck I plan to use, which is basically mixed from Battle City, the rare hunter that played with Exodia, but more of the 2021 20, version. While I open up this, 
and, and show you what I, I mean in comparison. So not only was this cheaper, it actually came with the calculator and everything. Take everything and put it here for now. Side part. So I'm just going to assemble it. This will be on the side. It's, it's easy to put together if you get it. What I love is like you could just easily take it apart and um, assemble it. Like you could just put it in your book bag, like it fits perfectly and just take it anywhere. Uh, like I said, it came with the calculator. This one didn't and it was more expensive. I don't know why when this one's better, in my personal opinion. I don't know, you can't put it anywhere, but it's a calculator for it. And the cards look MNT. Basically, they, they look fresh, Japanese version, because it's a Japanese exclusive Yusei dual disc, which fits plastics and everything. Not bad. I'm definitely going to sleeve these and put them in the collection. And not selling the other the do this I just got. I'll be using it when I'm bored out of my mind. Sitting here watching anime, play testing myself. Well not play testing, just playing on my deck. So this is the other one. I like it's better because it has a, a latch to keep your deck in. What I mean by that is this one doesn't have it. And there's times I was showing it off to wifey and playing with it. And when I went like that to I'm like, playing like an anime, like as if I'm at, super animated, I'm like you can't stop me, and my whole deck just flew out because it didn't have a latch to hold it in, and my whole deck just went flying. She helped me pick it up, but it doesn't have that latch to hold it in. This one does, and I like that. And what I like too is you see this clip, like. This is, it was pretty smart. Like, you have to lift it with one hand and then slide your deck in and then let go. It holds, supposed to hold it in place, but you can't, like I said, swing your arm or your deck is just going to go flying. But you can't put your deck in like this without having to use one hand to latch, pick it up. And you can't use your other hand because your other hand is holding the dual disc. So, like, this one's more better because. 40 card deck with sleeves you could just put it in pop it in latch it up it's perfect like it's way better like you could just shuffle put it straight back in instead of worrying about picking up the latch and everything and this will hold it in place it'll clip you could just put it down grab your whole deck out and so forth i'll just leave the deck in for now until i do the deck profile real fast it's a rare hunter's deck it's illegal but it's for the fun of it. Um, they still utilize putting it down here. But this is what I mean where, in comparison, I like this way more better than um, putting the card here and then pop on um, flipping it up. Uh, what's the card I had? Let's use blue eyes, for example. With this one, I'll have to slide it in. Which, if you want to put in attack mode, obviously, this way, or this is the safer way to put it in. If you want to put it in attack mode, but it's towards you, and it's upside down to your opponent, 
So this is the safe way. And then like I said, the little latch pops it up. You can just take it, put it in the graveyard or put it in the fence mode. And it goes right into the, the gripping thing. But if I'm facing my opponent, I want to summon it like this. I don't want to summon it and it's like upside down. Like it's faced up to me. Which is kind of the way you play when you play with a playmat anyways. And you go to a tournament. Your opponent sees your cards upside down anyways. Because you're putting it in attack mode to you. So this is fine if you want to play it like that. But, you know, this is like the anime. So what I like to do, place it in attack mode. Like so. They can see the card. And like it's like the anime. Like you put it exactly like, like in the anime. Fence mode, like you good. Send it to the graveyard. But the biggest difference that I like about this one more is they both have fill zones too. Is this extra spot right here? It has two extra spots that can hold fifteen cards. And what I said, like I said, I like is. Let's say you have to go in your deck because you activated something that search. This is my hand and I want to search my deck. It's like you can't really like you can't grab your deck and put it like this. And then you're going through your deck with both hands and then you're going to put it back. And then you're having your cards like this. They're all over the place. What I like about these these spots is you can use 15 cards for your extra deck and side deck. I mean, extra deck and remove from play zone. But more so, if you're not removing anything from play or anything, you could just hold your hand here. Like, this is your hand. You could just put your hand here to hold it while you go through your deck, skim through your deck, put it back. And then the card you looked for, you have it in one hand. Put it here with your hand because you searched it out. Shuffle back because you have both hands to freely shuffle and put them back into your, um, in the, extra, the deck zone. Then... Once it's shuffled, put it back, clip it, and then go back and just grab your hand. And it's like it's safely somewhere instead of your pocket or anywhere else. That's the biggest thing I wanted. Uh, let's keep that there. So these are my two, you say, dual discs. I wanted to do a deck profile with my Exodia update. But... Like a noob, I fucking, I came to Queens, I came to where I live and freaking forgot to bring my deck, my real deck, so I can do the update with this, just to showcase where, like this, do this, to be safely, you'll have to play like this, so they'll see it as upside down like in a tournament, or when you're playing somebody in general, they see their your cards like that anyways. Versus you want to play like, you know, like the anime, they say like this. So that's the difference. And like I said, I love the extra, extra spots to put extra cards. So I figured, why not just make a deck profile of what I play? And I plan on you playing just for the fun of it. Watching anime. Like, you know, you home at board. You're home board. There's no way going around this. If you're watching this, you're a Yugi head and you're going to be bored and you know you watch anime and like you be doing the anime. So like, I, I, I'll bust him. I'm like, I'll summon the Seal of Ari Conkles and blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. So this is the deck I plan on if when I'm bored sitting in my chair watching anime and I'm bored. Put on the dual disc just for the fun of it and just using this deck. And this is a forbidden Red Hunter Exodia deck mixed with like the future cards and past cards. So I'll just get right into it. You got the Seal of Reconcos. Just because. <laughs> Why not? You got the dual disc and everything. And it also works with this deck. And of course. The five pieces of Exodia. Now. You don't need to put extra cards. Because you have a lot of searchers. So. Got the three. Which is the Black Forest. Three Sangang. Three Emissaries. Two legions. There's a, a, it's it should be is it a hard once per turn? No, it's not. But some of them are hard once per turn. Like these are once per turn, once per turn. Emissaries you could keep using it over and over again. It's searching. 
And two, Legion, if you have a piece in the graveyard, you can retrieve the piece from the graveyard and bring it back to your hand. And this is a hard once per turn. Um, that's it for the monsters, basically. And of course, rare hunter status, so... Three plot of greeds. If you don't know what this does, it's just... You shouldn't be on this video. Three graceful chariots. Three one day apiece. Like I said, this is my version of Rare Hunter Exodia. Very much illegal. Uh, of course, my favorite card, Draw a Fate. Which this was, I wish the whole deck I could make Ghost Rare. But I love this card. For so many reasons. Especially being the first to use it to its full potential. Three upstarts. Now along with the Graceful Chariots and the Hand Destructs, you're going to want to chuck the Searchers to the Graveyard. Once the Searchers are in the Graveyard, you're going to Soul Charge them to bring them back. Like, this is a banned card, and uh, I remember when it wasn't, and it helped me search out Exodia way faster because the purpose is to draw a lot. Then you have the Hand Destructs to get rid of the Searchers. To send them to the graveyard, as well as the graceful chariots to search them. I mean, to draw, and then discard the searchers to the graveyard. And at the point where you're digging so much, you should have at least two pieces in hand. You'll get any amount, like you can have one witch in graveyard. You can play soul charge, um, bring back witch from graveyard, bring back sangang, bring back. You could bring back one of each of them because there's it's like total five. And like literally, you can search, I mean draw, until you have one of each in Graveyard. And you should have, if you don't have Exodia by then, you could just play Soul Charge, bring all five um, from the Graveyard to the field. by the co At the cost of 5,000 Light Points. And then um, basically, you can pop them all with, if you want to go this route, just super piss them off even further. It's like you play Seal of Arikonkos. This destroys all special summon monsters when you activate it on your on that you on the turn players who activated this. So it's like you can bring them all back and just activate the field card, pop all your monsters. They get destroyed. They activate their searches and just search out the last pieces of Exodia um, that you need. Or if you didn't draw, uh, if you have enough of them in the graveyard to search out Exodia and you don't have seal, but you don't want to continue drawing. And you know you have game just by bringing them back. Then you could just go into any link. I basically just have one link. Because that's all you really need. Just bring back three. And um, link them away. And then get their searches. And just summon Exodia. So it doesn't matter what you summon. Like that's the only thing. Like this doesn't have extra. The extra spot for links to start off with. But who cares. <laughs> you can just summon anywhere. So basically that's my... You say box opening I just got. Uh, yeah. Like, if you like, I'll be doing an update version of my Exodia um, deck profile because I have updated it. But that's when I get it back later on. Probably put it up today or whenever. Kind of want to do with this, but shit happens.